Good morning, Whitman Wildcats. We are glad you are here today. It is time for our daily announcements. We are from Mrs. Milo's eighth grade class. Today is Wednesday, the 22nd, 2024, May. Um, Noel, what are we having for lunch today? Today we're having cold turkey ham and cheese sub sandwich on whole grain hot dog bun or a whole grain sun butter and jelly sandwich with cheddar cheese stick and garden salad with cucumber wheels, so ranch or french dressing, fresh apple slices and choice of milk. And tomorrow we're going to have roast mesquite chicken drumstick or vegetarian nuggets and sweet potato fries, fresh broccoli, ranch dressing, whole grain pan roll, butter pats, ketchup, blue raspberry, frozen sidekick, and choice of milk. Brooklyn, what can we expect for the weather today and tomorrow? Today we can expect a high of 73 and a low of 56, and tomorrow we can expect a high of 77 and a low of 56. And it looks like we have no birthdays today. And now some announcements from Miss Amy. Good morning, everyone. I do believe Ms. Clemens will be joining us with a couple announcements of her own. But I want to mention this. Next week, there will be a kickball tournament. This will be taking place during the third through fifth grade recess. And uh, Coach Jenna will be here. And this will happen on the 29th, 30th, and 31st. So we are looking forward to that. That'll be a lot of fun. I just want to congratulate our whole school on our great fun run. Listen to this. Everyone together ran 9,450 laps. And if we miscounted, it might even have been more than that, but that's a crazy amount of running. So the students with the, and students and staff with the highest dollar amount pledges are as follows. In first place, congratulations, Alice Dunbeck. Well done. In second place, Layla Miller. Thank you, congratulations. And in third place, Miss Sarah Schultz, woohoo, go staff. By grade, the grade with the highest amount pledged was, of course, sixth grade Mr. Netterfield's class. They celebrated last week and he took some pies in the face. Thanks for being a good sport, Mr. Netterfield. Third grade is, third grade is in second place with the highest amount of pledges. And in third place with the third highest amount of pledges, Way to go, K-5. So what a great fun one we had. And congratulations to all those that brought in pledges. Thank you, thank you, thank you for helping our school. The people working on our playground were super excited when they heard all the pledges that we were able to get. So thank you, students, for your great effort. Miss Clemens, we just talked about the fun run winners and the fact that there will be a tournament, a kickball tournament next week. Do you have any other announcements for us? Uh, I'm, I'm going to just announce real quick, sorry I'm late, that uh, I was just talking to a class that, you know, we do have these fun things coming up soon. We have the kickball tournament for the third through fifth grade. We have the field day coming up in January. We have, or January, goodness, June. We have the eighth grade versus staff kickball tournament coming up. And if your behavior is not appropriate in the classroom, then you won't be at these fun activities. I hate to be the downer here on the announcements today. But there's plenty of people who think that we're done with school and we're not. We are absolutely not. We have 14 days, I think, left of school today, starting today. So if your behavior in class is not appropriate, you will not be outside. I will figure out a way for you to have um, to stay inside and miss out on the activities. You will not be able to participate and have fun because it's, it's still the end of the year. And we want to make sure that we end strong and we end positively. Like Miss Amy said yesterday on the announcements, I loved what she talked about with having a positive mindset because it makes a big difference in how your day is going to go. So let's, I appreciate the 95% of you that are doing the right thing every day and getting your work done and staying positive and not causing behavior issues in your class. Thank you to you guys, because that's what school is supposed to be about. It's not supposed to be about the negative and the kids that can't handle themselves in the classroom. So thank you to the rest of you. And that's why we still plan these fun things for the kids that deserve it. So let's end strong, let's have some fun, and let's be the Whitman Wildcats that we know we should be. Okay, that's all I have, guys. Tune in tomorrow and every day for more Wildcats. Have a great day, Whitman Wildcats. Have a...
a great day with my wildcats. We'll see you around the building. Don't Always forget smile. to smile.